welcome back to the Spiders Web. Um, this is a video entry for uh, Martin McNeil's 500 subscriber competition for his YouTube channel. Congratulations! Um, now, I'm sorry I didn't know about your channel until earlier today when I watched uh, Edit Beer's um, video, but hey, got there in the end. Anyway, never mind. Now, the the uh, idea for this channel, or for this video rather, is that uh, he wants to know about where we live. Okay, well, where we live and where I call home are two different things. You did specifically say where we live, so I'll have to do that. Um, <laughs> where I call home is Haydock in St. Helens. Where I call, or where I live, is near enough just next door, it's Wigan in Greater Manchester. About Wigan, it was, it's an old town, it's got, um, it stems from uh, Roman occupation, it was called Cochium in those days. You can tell it's a Roman place because there's a lot of places that end in gate, so we have Standish Gate, Hall gate, wall gate, you know, so um, there, were, there were different gates that went into Wigan, so obviously it was a, a walled town at some point, I would imagine, especially with it being Roman. Uh, the, the town was built, or the town that we know now was built on the textile and mining industry. Uh, we're quite near the Manche Liverpool Manchester Canal. Manchester Liverpool Canal, whatever you want to call it, um, <coughs> that runs through Wigan. There are different canals in Wigan, so we do have a good waterway system here as well. Um, now, saying about the uh, coal industry, um, first of all, that's where Wigan Pier comes from. The pier was a loading pier for the mines. Um, enabled, enabling the uh, mines to get the coal from the pits onto the canal and away to where it was going. It wasn't a pleasure pier like, it exp uh, like people seem to associate piers with nowadays. It was actually a, a mining or a loading pier rather. Um, so basically it was just a, f a few planks and a curved bit of metal that they used to help to stabilise the um, the mining carts as they're tipping them up and uh, emptying the contents into the um, badge. Um, now I did say that I, what did I say that I was from Haydock? Yes I did say I was from Haydock. I'm trying to think now. Uh, oh, so I'm from Haydock, I'm known as a Yicker. A Yicker is somebody who um, Sticking with the theme for of the canals, when you're going through Horstrawn um, Canal Barge, when you get to a bridge, the horse can't go under the bridge, the horse will go over it. So what they would do, they would disconnect the horse from the barge, and then they will get people to lie on top of the, um, the barge and push the barge along with their feet. Those people were called yickers, and a lot of yickers came from Haydock. That's where we call, That's why people from Haydock are called Yickers, and I will never, ever, ever, no matter how long I have been living in Wigan, I will never call myself a Wiganer. I'm a Yicker. I don't care. Wiganers, however, are called pie eaters. That's not pie haters. That's pie eaters. It's the the local colloquialism, um, roughly translated to English. Pie eaters. Pie eaters. Uh, this stems as well from mines, um, specifically miner strike, um, where all the mines in this area went out on strike. The pit owners did everything they could to get uh, the workers back down the mines, to getting coal and making the money. Nobody was having it, no matter what incentive that the owners gave. Um, none of the pits were going to, t to accept any of it, except. For the Wiganers, they were the ones who ate humble. Sorry, they were the ones who ate humble pie. Correcting myself, though, it's not humble pie; it's humble pie. 
look it up. Um, <laughs> and um, they were the ones who ate hum humble pie and uh, went back to work first. So that's why the uh, different uh, places around here know Wiganers as uh, pie eaters. Wigan's quite famous for quite a few things. Here's one. Here's another. Here's a third. And a fourth. Now, <laughs> I'm not mentioning anything to do with that because I'm not basically interested. Nah, seriously. Um, Wigan Athletic Football Club, Wigan Warriors Rugby Club, Wigan Casino, the Wigan home of uh, Northern Soul Music, and Wigan Pier, the home of Bang Bang Thumpy Dance Music around Wigan. Mind you, saying that apparently that was quite a good night spot in the uh, 70s, early 80s. I don't know, I'm, I'm too young to know about them. Um, I was asked a few weeks ago if I, if I did any work in Wigan Pier. I actually turned around and said that, I, that so the place had closed down and burnt down before I was old enough to legally go in there, so that made them feel well. Now here in Wigan we have, um, as I mentioned, different areas that are ending in gates. The main shopping street in Wigan is Standish Gate. On Standish Gate, you'll find all the main, all the normal shops that you would find in a town centre. There is also the old galleries, um, indoor shopping centre. Uh, apparently now, from what I've been told, that's going to get a big facelift. A lot of the shops from there are going. There's going to be a new cinema and all sorts of things in there. I don't know. Um, but we do have a new arcade, or shopping centre, whatever you call it, called the Grand Arcade. Uh, that opened about seven, eight years ago, something like that. Uh, a lot of the big shops have moved into there. <coughs> um, what else do we have in Wigan? We have, uh, as I say, a good canal network. We have on the outskirts of Wigan, Hay, Country, Hay Hall and Country Park. Now I'll go through the country park quite a bit with Laddie. Um, if you want to have a look in my uh, D D D D D D D, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, in my photo album from um, in my U in my YouTube in my uh, Facebook, there's a lot of uh, photographs in there um, that were taken in Hay Country Park. This is what Hay Hall looks like. And it was built by, um, oh, what's his name now, what's his name now, James Lindsay. He was the 24th Earl of Crawford, uh, born in 1783 and he died in 1869. He's uh, known as the Earl of Balcaris and he was, as I say, he was the guy who built Hale. We have a lot of famous people who uh, come from Wigan, or are associated with Wigan. One of the main ones for Wiganers is George Orwell who wrote the book Animal Farm and The Road to Wigan Pier. This is the one that puzzles me about Wiganers because they seem to be quite proud of the fact that they're associated with someone who didn't like the town. Uh, George Orwell in his book The Road to Wigan Pier was not very complimentary, shall we say. By all accounts, I've not actually read the book, so I'm only going from here, say, but apparently he wasn't too happy about it. Um, there is a little um, monument, not monument, a little, um, like a stone with a plaque on it uh, to mark the place where the, uh, the houses were reboarded when he was here writing the book. Which is opposite the, uh, the courthouse. Um, anyway, as I was saying, there's a lot of people who are associated with Wigan who are either born here or decided to come and live here. 
Uh, I'll go through some of them. I'm not. I've got four pages here. If people are, names I'm not very good at, so here we go. Uh, James Anderson, former Chief Constable of Greater Manchester Police. Richard Ashcroft, the lead singer of The Verve. Um, here we go. Um, Marjorie Booth, the opera singer and World War II spy. She was born in Wigan. Tom Billington and David Boy Smith, the British Bulldogs. Tom Billington went under the name Dynamite Kid. David Boy Smith, obviously the British, the British Bulldog. Uh, both came from the Wigan area. Um, James Burton, he built several early cotton mills in uh, Hinsford and Tilsley. He was born in Clitheroe, which is not too far away. Kathleen Murray Drew Baker, she was a psychologist in 1901. Well, she was born in 1901 and died in 1957. She was born in Lee. Uh, Sean Edwards, the rugby player. Um, Beth Ellis, uh, she was a novelist and travel writer. Um, Edward Entwistle, he was the driver of Stevenson's Rockets. Georgie Fame, real name Clive Powell, R&B singer and keyboard player, was born in Lee. Andrew Farrell, former international rugby player of both codes, but he was born and raised in Wigan. Um, let's see who else. George Formby Jr., comedian, ukulele player. Sorry, comedian, ukulele player, and actor. He was born and brought up in Wigan. There is a plaque near where Central Park used to be, the home of uh, Wigan uh, Warriors. Joe Gormley, the former president of the National Union of Mine Workers. Andy and Mike Gregory, uh, rugby players. John Elisha Grimshaw. Now, you may not know the name, but you may have heard the story about him and a few other of his uh, company, shall we say, in the, uh, in the uh, First World War. John Grimshaw was, the was one of the recipients of the Victoria Cross he was one of the six VCs before breakfast uh, fame. Then we have Thomas Hayes. Um, he died in 1803. He was the inventor of the cotton spinning machinery. He was born in Lee. Uh, James Hilton, the author of Goodbye Mr Chips, was born in Lee. Um, let's see who else. Uh, Roy Kinnear, comedy actor. He was born in Wigan. Limal from Kajigugu. Uh, he was born from born in Wigan, and his brother, um, or his brother's ex-wife, is my ex-partner. Just thought you'd like to know. Let's see what else we have. Um, we've mentioned James Lindsay when I was talking about hell. Stuart McConey, writer, DJ, and presenter. He attended uh, John McBee Sixth Form College, and has a stir on the Wigan Walk. Uh, Barry Mason, songwriter, he was born in Wigan. Um, who else? Everton footballer Leon Osmond. Uh, Frank Randall, comedian, he was born in Aspel. John Roby, folklorist. Uh, Nigel Short, chess grandmaster, he grew up in Atherton and attended St Philip's School. Um, I've mentioned David Boy Smith. Uh, da, 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 da. Simon Tong, bassist guitarist with the Verve. The good, the the Good, the Bad and the Queen and Gorillas. He was born in Wigan. Uh, Thomas Tilsley. He died in the Battle of Wigan Lane. Colin Welland. Uh, writer and actor. He taught art in Manchester Road Secondary School. Lee. Uh, who else? There's one person I'm not going to mention here. Um, Thomas Woodcock. He was one of the recipients of the Victoria Cross. He was born in Wigan. Uh, Gerald, Gerard Winstonley, the founder of the 17th century diggers, was born in Wigan. There's another person who in here that hasn't been mentioned, hasn't even been listed. He wasn't born in Wigan, he was born in Bury. His dad, or his father, he moved with his family to Wigan when his dad got a better job. He was inspired to take up acting while going to the Wigan Little Theatre with his sisters, Magneto, Gandalf, Ian McKellen. Another adopted son of Wigan. So, that's Wigan. Um, 
I'm not sure what, what else I can tell you about it. I'm now going to show you a photograph of, an well, aerial photograph of um, the area where I live. Now as you can see at the back of that there's a road and then you get a few big buildings. There's the cinema, um, there's a Franklin Benny's, there's um, oh, an Indian restaurant, I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, there's a girl at Bingo, next to that you'll find a, an old nightclub which was shut down years ago. Um, and then there's um, Robin Park Retail Park which has like things like Next, um, there's a Costa Coffee there, there's a Smith's Toys, JD Sports, there's a Wix, um, there's a Thomas Cook Travel Agents. Um, between the Girl of Bingo and the Robin Park thing there's um, oh, like a gym there's a gym there and across the way from the gym there's Robin Park Arena where they do athletics and various other things and the DW Stadium uh, the home of uh, Wigan Athletic and Wigan Warriors so um, I hope you've enjoyed the video um, I'm not a great fan of Wigan to be brutally honest but um, there we go uh, I'm stuck here, it serves me right for marrying a wig in it, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, that's enough from me. Um, as I say, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and uh, another quick me message to uh, Mercy McNeil. Again, congratulations. Hope you get many more subscribers. Good luck with the channel. So, until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.